Here we have a 2012 EX250, which is a non-repairable bike being dismantled for its parts. This bike is in running and driving condition. As you can see, the right brake has broken off. I think the brake itself is still functional, it's just a bracket that broke. This bike appears to be in decent conditions. Doesn't appear to be bent in any funky angles or anything. Mainly just scratches and scuffs. This bike runs and goes through all its gears like it's supposed to. All the lights work despite the, uh, the one blinker that is missing. Alright, starting here on the left side. Get a little bit of rash here on the mirror. Swell over here. The windscreen looks fine. I don't see any rash or anything. Scratches. This is just a stick to here. We should have that removed by the time it gets pictured. The upper looks in good shape. I don't see any real problems. The only issue I see here is a little bit of rash from this corner where he had laid it down. A little bit of rash. It looks like it's cracked here on the right side fairing. I don't know if you see it in the video, but there's a crack right there. Again, more scratches. You got some rash here on the front brake pedal, uh, brake lever, as well as the bar end. Lots of scratches running down this side fairing, but I don't see any cracks in the side fairing. Oh, except for right here, like I said. Um, the tank's in really nice shape. Looks like you just got some scratches in it. Um, mostly dirt. You sit outside for a long time. Coming down to the exhaust, the exhaust has got some rash here on it, running all the way down. And like I touched on before, the bracket is broken here. So what we're probably going to do is just sell the master cylinder with the brake. The tire has most of its tread on it. I believe this bike only has about 2,000 miles or so. The tail section looks in really good shape. I don't see any cracks, some scratches and scuffs and normal, normal wear and tear on a bike. The seat looks in good shape, except for this sticker. Now the issue with these stickers is where they put them. You do get a lot of sticker residue, and it is sticky. Uh, unfortunately, that's something we have to live with. Coming back over here, this side fairing looks all right. I'm looking here at this body molding here, and that looks good. Uh, the shifter looks like it's just a little bent. The side fairing here has got a little bit of rash here. It looks like it's missing a piece of the sticker. Uh, other than that, this side looks to be in decent shape. A couple little nicks here and there. Um, this blinker has got a little rash on it. Not much, just a little bit. And the clutch lever has got a little bit of rash. Come over here on the bike. This bike has 2,022 miles on it. Brand new. Um, as we can see, oh, I, I got to start the bike and I'll show you. The bike fires right up. I don't hear any knocks, I don't hear any taps, I don't hear any issues with the motor. As you come here, the headlight. Uh, high beam, low beam, high beam, low beam. As you can see over there. That's functional. Horn works. Left blinker, that's the front. That's the rear. Hey Robbie, can you hit the brake pedal for me? Uh, it's the front brake. Can you try the rear brake? Just to make sure the sensor is good. Uh, it's disconnected. Alright, it's fine. It, it's dis that? No, I didn't get nothing. There should be a sensor, but it's fine. It won't work without the yeah. On the right blinker, like I said, it's missing the front. So you don't have a blinker here, it's just the wire is missing and broken. So the back is not blinking, it's solid amber light. I'm going to idle up a little bit and we're going to go through the transmission. That's good. That's fine. Alright, there's first gear there. There's second gear. There's third gear. There's fourth gear. Fifth gear. And... Six gear. As you can see, it is a front mounted uh, speedometer. It's just the uh, OPM gauge going up. 
just gonna go ahead and back down to the gears. If you have any questions or concerns about this bike, or you need parts to any other bike, feel free to contact us at RMB Cycle Salvage on Facebook and on eBay, or find our new parts website at rbcyclesalvage.com. Thank you.